Ukrainian people? Because is there an element that just go, look, let's just get this over with, let Putin have what he wants? Or are they, are they standing strong? We are standing strong because we, do, we know what he wants. He wants to destroy us. That is existential, to be or not to be. Do so you think if he, if he took Ukraine, you think he'd just exterminate Ukrainians? Yeah, he will do it, but he will do it in the way that he will send Ukrainians to kill Polish people, Lithuanians, Latvian, Estonians. He will kill Ukrainians, then take them. The idea is then to take them and to go to Germany. Just 33 years ago, Germany was divided. Mm. Which I, I just want to remind yeah, you, yeah. it's not a, a long, long ago history. It's not a medieval story. It's 33 years ago. And if we will not react, that will mean that everything will continue and repeat. We, went, we, we had lunch together a few weeks ago now, and, and you said something really interesting to me when we were at dinner, actually. Really interesting, this, about Zelensky. Now, Zelensky's become a bit of a rock star, or whatever. Yeah. And he put a lot of emphasis on building infrastructure, and didn't you say to him that the Russians will use that infrastructure to, to try to invade our country? We're better trying to build our defences. Is that, is That's that what I told from the Tribune of the Parliament, and he didn't like it. I was critical, and I said that now, uh, if we will not think about army, the roads that we are building the now, building they now. will be used by Russian tanks. Unfortunately, that's what happened. That is a very good lesson for everybody, mm. everywhere. Uh, security matters. Everything starts from security. The, all this economic growth that West had for decades, it is based on security. If there would not be the result of Second World War and international order and uh, international law respected, no economic no. growth, absolutely nothing. No. That is uh, the no. lesson we all should learn. And it, and it annoys me, right, that in, if this country, if Putin did something similar in this country, we'd have to get on the phone to America. We have to go, we've, we've neglected our own armed forces in this country. And, and, and I think what Ukraine has shown is... is I'm a head, I had a breakfast, uh, no, sorry, no, I, I had a meeting yeah. with one of top generals of Germany. Uh, it was private, so I can't say the name. And uh, I said that, give us more weaponry, please, because they gave us seven officers. Oh, uh, it's very, we are happy with seven, it's yeah, better than zero, <laughs> but we have 1,000 kilometers yeah. front line. I said it to him, said, you're a military, you understand? Oh. He said, I understand. But do you know how many do we have? This is it. And he said we have, like, he said number, but I can tell you, it's... It, it, it's, it's not a lot. <laughs> it's less than 50. And I said, okay, oh. uh, I mean, what would be oh. if Russians would come <laughs> here? Uh, so that, that is what happened. Can I ask you a bit about Boris? We've lost Boris in this country. How do you feel about it? I, I should say the truth. I am very sad about it. Uh, I understand it's absolutely internal UK question. But in Ukraine, Boris is a real hero. We really appreciate what he did. And he showed leadership. That is so important. In this world where we lack the leadership, yeah. he showed it. And it was, I understand, I hope that whoever will be Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, because the United Kingdom society supports Ukraine, yeah, the politicians will do the same. But will they be so passionate? Will they show leadership? I don't know. I hope yes, but big thanks to Boris. I lost, at la last time, I met him in Madrid on the fields of NATO summit and spoke with him, and uh, uh, he did a very good job internationally. And that I can tell you for sure. And he did a good job for the UK too.